How's it going, everybody? Today's video looking at AAL American Airlines. It was their earning day pre market. Uh, not the best whatsoever, but then again, it is COVID and the restrictions on flying and whatnot. Uh, so they lost $5.54 uh, was the estimated, I think it was, and they had a conference call. Now, in the uh, Discord, I did say short it when it was right here to, uh, I mean, 1267. I said buy it back at 12.45, didn't reach it, but uh, I think they got the message in the Discord. Overall, great day for this one, though. Hit a high of 13.29, just above 40%, just above 3% on the day. Right now, it's pulling back a bit, but very well above VWAP right there at 12.87. We do have some more support right there at 12.97, and support at $13 as well. We'll have to see how far it comes down to or if it breaks it. In the coming minutes at the market close if we take a look at the one-year chart uh, last earnings was negative seven so obviously they made more and the negative seven was like deep into covid uh even this quarter to may actually but no they were flying the beginning of this quarter and then the negative seven there was limited flights you couldn't fly the european or something you guys know what i'm talking about if you guys invested it AAL, but with negative five cents, the the company's heading in the right future, and with uh with hopefully stuff opening back up, um you got it is election, so many investors are going to be weary of that. The company was usually trading at twenty six to thirty one dollars, so if we if we do get open back, our first resistance to break is fifteen dollars, um seventeen, the high there twenty two, and then. 30 and then 31.67. What really sucks is that this company was um, American Airlines. It, it, it was a solid stock. It had um, um, dividends. Is that what? Yep, yeah, it had dividends. It paid out every quarter. And then obviously now that they aren't paying them, uh, just uh, you guys do to COVID right here. Uh, we are pushing up. We do have to break though uh, 13.67 if you want to see any price action as well as 14.14. 14. So a lot of places to hold this uh, stock down, but the volume has been very average actually. Uh, today's volume was really 86 million shares on a $13 stock. Definitely not one to underestimate. AL is my preferred airline stock. Uh, American and Southwest Airlines should Im should improve as business travel returns. Um, Southwest stock flies higher after earnings. America doesn't. Here's why. Okay, actually, let's look up Southwest. Oh, we'll go back to news, guys. Here. Uh, what is Southwest ticker? Oh, love. Yeah. Love. Uh, yeah, this one's up two dollars, sixty-five percent. Um, it's basically the same thing. All airlines, you know, it's just different price action because the stock is higher. Now this one had a bigger um dividend, but it was more expensive. Trading on normal fifty to fifty-eight dollars is the high up there a share. This one's obviously not that bad. They didn't lose as much money, even in um the heart of COVID. They didn't lose that much money. Only two dollars and sixty-seven cents, um, per share. So. Honestly, not the best. It's up to you guys. What can you can afford? Can you afford AAL or can you afford LUV Southwest um, uh, Southwest Airlines? Me personally, like I said, I am a big fan of American just because of how cheap it is, uh, fairly cheap. And uh, we'll have to see, you know, earnings, not the best. You guys know, but you got to have some respect that they didn't, you know, here's the thing. This is my overall, so I'm trying to tell you guys. They could be negative $10 right now. Negative 7 Every, every investor knew that when it hit negative seven, there was really the only way that the earnings were going to be that bad again if the company went bankrupt. That, that's just my opinion. Remember, trade your own plan. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> trade your own plan. Plan your own trade. That was AAL brought to you by Patreon Noah Simone. Thank you very much for being becoming a member and requesting this video. Hope this helps. Um, any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. But go over a recap here. Good support at 27 um, excuse me, $12.70, $12.87, 13 um, resistance at $13.29, and $14.14, and all the way back up to hopefully $31 per share. All right, guys, AL, thanks for watching. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't. Questions, comments, opinions, drop it down below, and I'll definitely answer them all. All right, guys, see you in the next one.